Hey Glencoe Stars, welcome to another SEL. Today we're talking about good deeds for the community and for the environment. Now, we've talked about how when you do good deeds for family and friends, you shouldn't expect something in return. And for this one, that's kind of a big one. Because when you go and, let's say, pick up trash here at school, if you're picking up that trash because you want to help our school and the environment, you're doing a good deed. Now, the environment's not gonna do anything back for you, right? The environment's not gonna buy you an ice cream cone. The environment's not gonna give you a candy. Now, in the long run, when you take care of the planet, you're taking care of yourself, right? When we take care of trees, we're creating oxygen for ourselves. And a lot of times it means not necessarily for us right away, but somewhere down the line. Example, if I plant trees, in the forest to help recover from them cutting them down for wood, right? But I'm helping the planet to create that oxygen and clean the air. Now, as far as for me, that tree is not going to do a lot of good in my lifetime, but it makes a difference for your lifetime. When we stop polluting, the immediate impact isn't on us. It's on the people that are young and growing. When you help out an elderly person by pulling their weeds, it saves them from having to go out there and bend over to pick up the weeds or get out there in the hot sun or the cold. The older we get, our bodies have trouble dealing with the extra bending over, getting up, hot and cold. And if somebody pulls my weeds for me, it's great. After a windstorm, which we have a lot of and they're starting to come in, right? That's the time of year we get a lot of wind and trash gets blown into our yards. Trash gets blown into the neighbor's yard. Great thing to just walk out and pick it up. Now, again, we always want to be careful. Make sure that when you're out there picking up trash, you're doing it safely. Some things, yeah, we don't want to pick them up with our bare hands. We have to be careful. Broken glass, I know I've done where I walk around the school perimeter and sometimes guys, they throw bottles over the wall or they throw trash over the wall into the schoolyard. Well, I don't want my kids hurt, so I'm out there and we pick it up. Oscar and his team of the custodians, they do the same thing. Grounds crew comes and they kind of help with that as well. But I want to make sure that you're safe. So if a bottle breaks, I want to make sure I take care of that right away. We don't want to wait for somebody else to do it when I can do it. But I have to be careful. Because again, broken glass can get cuts, it can get stuck in your skin, and sometimes it's dirty, which means we can get infections from it. So we want to be careful when we're out there helping. When you find something that you want to pick up trash with, a lot of the times a coach you tell you, oh wait, let's get you some gloves. I don't want you picking up stuff. Remember, trash can have bacteria in it from old food, people's saliva, and these days, the big thing that I'm seeing all over the place, gloves and masks. Yeah, people are throwing those everywhere. They're like, oh, uh, and gloves and throw them off. They're all over the parking lots. They're flying around and with the wind, they're going to get blown everywhere. It's important that you understand. Helping out, doing those good deeds for our environment, like picking up trash, is an amazing thing to do. I love it. I, when I go hiking, I take a backpack with a trash bag in it and I pick up trash whenever I'm hiking so that when you go on a hike, you don't have to see the garbage that people leave behind. But a good deed that you can do, you don't even have to pick up because it can be dangerous to pick up some of those things, is just not throw it out. Recycling is a good deed for the planet and it's in your own house, right? Yeah. Recycle bins. We have those available at the school. So recycling is a good deed for our planet and the young children or your children when you grow up that will help them out. Good deeds, turn off the water. Yeah, when you're brushing your teeth, you're saving water. So sometimes good deeds aren't necessarily something we have to do extra it's something that we change in our own behaviors. When you go to the grocery store and you buy a bag of chips, 
I don't know why they put the chips in another plastic bag. You can just tell them, no, it's okay. I don't need that. I'll just take the bag. When you buy just two or three items at the grocery store that you really don't need that bag for, right? Why get a bag if you don't need it? This one is a hard one. I'm working on it still. Taking the bags with you to the grocery store. This is great. They sell those bags and you can reuse them and they're really strong. So you take your bags with you to the grocery store and when it's time to check out, you put your groceries in those bags. That way we don't use those plastic bags that the grocery stores have or the 7-Elevens or the Circle Ks, right? All these convenience stores and grocery stores give you a plastic bag and that plastic, it's horrible for the environment. So a good deed is your changing a behavior that helps out everyone around you. Water bottles, I know, they're easy, right? The water tastes better or doesn't taste, yeah, because it doesn't have flavor. And you know what I mean. That water is better tasting than the one that comes out of the tap. And a lot of people drink that water. A lot of people love bottled water. And I got, I understand, I do too. But I don't buy the little bottles, right? Because every time we use one of those bottles, something happens to that. Now, if you put it in the recycle bin, it's awesome. But if it goes into the trash and then, yeah. Do you know what happens to our trash? Somebody takes that trash and they just bury it in the dirt. That's what the, yeah, that's what the dump is. All the trash that goes out of our trash cans and the truck comes and burns. They take it to a split base out of the desert and they bury it in the dirt, right? So now that trash is in the dirt. That doesn't help our water systems. It's not good for the plants. It's not a great way to deal with things. How else do we do it? Well, it's kind of hard. But the more we recycle, the less trash we're burning in that dirt. Yeah. So recycling, a great way to take care of business. Cleaning up trash that blows around in the neighborhood, a great deed for people around us. Going to the park, I know parks right now you can't really, I understand. But this is a big one, Easter, right? Everybody goes to the park and you get the confetti egg, and yay! Well, that paper, yeah, have you ever been to the park after that happens? That, that stuff is all over the place. It's kind of hard to clean it up. So there's new stuff that comes out that falls apart really easy. And paper is, yeah, it falls apart. No big deal, but it does take a while, right? So we stay away from the plastics, we reuse, recycle, and reimagine, right? We use something over again for something else, a different purpose. The good deed is saving our planet and the people that are going to live on it after we're gone. The good deed of planting a tree provides oxygen and cleans the air. The good deed of helping out your community by pulling a few weeds for an elderly person or picking up trash out of somebody's yard. Now, you see those people, right? They leave their garbage on, yeah, like they open their car and they just dump their garbage on the side of the road and keep on trucking. Again, it's great to pick that up and throw it away, but be careful. We don't want you guys getting sick because of the germs and bacteria that are running around and all that stuff. So, yes, we love it. When you guys were here and you'd go picking up Capri Suns and trash and garbage straws and everything else. But I would always tell you guys, wait, 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 let me get you some gloves and a trash bag because I don't want you picking it up with your hands. Because then what do you do? You touch your face and then you get bacteria in your eyes and nose. That's a big deal, right? We want to keep that dirty hands away from our face. That's why we have sanitizer all over the place right now because with COVID, our hands, they touch everything. And when they touch it, we want to make sure that we don't take whatever we touched and put it near our face, right? That's what the sanitizer is for, washing your hands properly. So when we talk about good deeds for the community and the environment, we're talking about recycling, reusing, reimagining. We're talking about helping out by cleaning up around your community. Now, no, I don't want you in the street running around picking up garbage. That's a little dangerous, right? 
but with your parents, let's say you go for a walk around the neighborhood. Go buy one of those, yeah, got claw things. That'd be, it's fun. Take the claw and you can walk with your parents and you claw and trash, claw and trash. That way your hands stay away from the trash. Bottles, broken, stuff like that. We want to make sure you're safe as you do these deeds. Sacrificing a little bit of your time for changing a few of your behaviors can change everything around us. But you got to make the change, right? Recycling is not easy. No. The plastic milk jug, yeah, you have to wash them out, right, before you put them in the cycle bin. Water bottles, don't have to rinse them out, right? They're, they're just water. So you just throw them in the recycle bin. There's a lot of things that we can do that change the way it'll affect the world and the people on it years down the road. So your task, your good deed for the environment and the community is to change your behaviors to make things better for everyone around you. Recycle, reuse, reimagine, and when it's safe, help to clean up. That's it. That's simple. Sometimes it's hard. Yeah. It's inconvenient. Yeah. Sometimes we just don't want to. I don't want to wash my milk jug, but that's okay. You know, we just got to take care of it. So, again, do it. Work at it. Find something. If every one of us makes one or two changes, that's millions of changes with everybody participating. So, do a good deed. Make a change in your behavior that helps the earth and the people on it. Take care. Good luck. Recycle, reuse, reimagine. Bye.